Beautiful, 3160 Montana here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The number one selling fifth wheel in its class for like, I don't know, 14 or 15 consecutive years. This is the champion. And year to date, this year, it is back on top as the absolute number one selling fifth wheel in all categories. That is an impressive feat. Um, if at any point you're curious to learn more about this one, whether it's you're, you're kind of curious about uh, total uh, dimensions, uh, tank capacities, or obviously at some point you're probably going to want to know the price of this puppy dog. I'll leave you a link down here in the video description. Click for price and availability, and that'll take you to our website where uh, we uh, clearly publish the pricing of every one of our RVs. Now, we won't always bring everything in equipped exactly the same. So this video could be different from the one we have in stock. On our website, we price things on a per trailer basis so you get the most accurate information. So what is it that has made these unbelievably and unprecedentedly popular? And the answer is a lot of little stuff and the devil is in the details and there are a lot of details present in this thing. This is extremely, well, I mean, every square inch has been combed over. Uh, let's start right up front here where you see the full automotive paint on these nose caps. That's done in-house. Keystone owns their own paint shop. So, uh, you know, they, they handle this, they control this, it's done to their specs. It's, uh, you know, um, what am I wanting to say here? 100% of the accountability is on their shoulders, so they make sure it's done right. Uh, the Moride uh, pin box up here works in conjunction with the Moride CRE 3000 compressor rubber uh, equalization to give you a good ride. So this is a lateral shock dampener, even a little bit side to side, but especially front to back, whereas that back there is a vertical shock dampener. The end result is that you have a system that has 360 degrees of shock absorption capability. That keeps... Um, the the kinetic energy from towing the literal earthquake f uh four in the richter scale level earthquake kinetic energy from getting translated up through the sidewalls into the windows into the roof and speaking of the roof if we look up here real close you see how the roof line wraps over the sidewall that's a huge structural item that is one of the most critical seams on this entire rv they move it from a point of high stress to low stress. You may have noticed the giant drop frame front storage, but what a lot of brands won't do is they won't continue that up through the front pass-through storage area. They'll actually uh, chintz on that. Whereas down here you see that it goes all the way front to back and you see that moisture barrier wrap they put on the front there. Um, the uh, battery box here is cool. There's uh, like um, uh, a vent down below for exhaust points. There's also lots of space here if you want to add a second battery box you can do that. Um, so it runs on hydraulic slides. It does have a flow control, so you can select which slide you want to run at which point if you just want to open one or two. You see the true high-gloss exterior here. Beautiful mirror-like finish on it. And the uh, auto controls and hydraulic slide controls are in the what I call proper spot. And what I mean by that is they're over here on the driver's side of the RV. I've seen some brands try to put a uh, controller on the other side of that ba uh, baggage door compartment. That means you've got to get out of the vehicle, go all the way around, operate that go back around it doesn't make sense this makes sense enclosed private docking station that you can keep private under lock and key with these uh slam latch baggage doors and you've got heated protected gate veils let's talk insulation for a moment uh there's a disgusting amount of misinformation in the rv business out there today about r factors and i i, I mean to the point that uh people are trying to say they have r72 roofing an R72 roof, to give you an idea, would have to be like 24 inches thick. It doesn't exist. It's just a bold faced lie is what it is. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the R value is, it matters what the performance is. That's why this has an enclosed forced air, heated, insulated underbelly. Then they go, okay, let's insulate the slides. And then they insulate the roof and then they wrap the nose cap in insulation. You want more than that? These have standard 12 volt uh, tank heater pads built right into uh, every Montana. That is amazing. So, uh, unless you are caught in an Arctic Yeti storm, you know, unless you are uh, <laughs> Luke Skywalker caught by a wampa on the planet Hoth, you're probably going to be fine. That's a Star Wars reference. Hopefully you're keeping up with me here. These are the jokes, people. It's as good as it gets. Uh, prep for backup camera. That's an option that can be applied. Uh, it's not one we typically install because it's just as easy to install it aftermarket. Um, the uh, roof will take you up to that, or the ladder takes you up to the full walk-on roof. You can tap dance up there if you're so inclined, though I don't know why you would want to. And check this out. 
they built in behind the living room entertainment center an outdoor entertainment center on its own little swing arm. So you have perfect campsite visibility out here. And once again, you can keep it closed under lock and key behind an insulated door. Um, you have twin power awnings. Both have LED lighting. So you have, I don't know, over 20 foot of patio awning space. And if you're paying attention right now, you've already keyed into the fact that there's something missing, something important, and you're probably growing concerned that there's no way to get into the RV. And you're thinking, hey, stupid, why would you show a video like this? That's because this has a cool new feature. So first of all, we've got friction hinge doors that you can be really aggressive with and they don't slam shut. But check this out. This is new from our friends More Ride, and it is the business, ladies and gentlemen. So. Is it hard to operate? Absolutely not. I've only got one hand. Watch this. You pull it down. It's all aluminum. It's lightweight. It's made uh, with anti-slip aluminum boat dock style steps. And look at this beauty. Because it goes all the way down to have dual side support on the ground. This is the most stable uh, step system I've ever seen in an RV. Plus, didn't it have a nice clean look when the door was closed? Very, very cool. And you can literally jump on this thing. No problem, it is super duper stable. Awesome sauce. Moving forward, something I like to point out is the fact that Montana's have a residential size entry door. I can stand in it. I can go shoulder to shoulder in it. I don't have to worry about ducking when I get in here because I happen to be a tall person. Let me close that door, friction hinge door. Okay, so right when we walk in, we've got handy little like spotlight uh, switches over here. Then we've got our, our main living room light switch in here for us. Now check out that overhead indirect accent light. It looks like an air traffic controller is bringing you down. You know, uh, Roger Control, this is uh, Halitz coming in and I read you five by five. We've got uh, a wall controller for a max air vent fan up here so you don't have to be a giant to reach that thing. Uh, we've also got no visible air conditioner, yet this has two, two 15,000 BTU centralized whisper quiet air conditioners. Not just the living room's a whisper quiet AC, but up in the bedroom where you're like five inches from the air conditioner at night, that's also whisper quiet. So this only makes about 10% of the noise of an air conditioner. So if it kicks on and roars at night when the compressor kicks in, it's not going to startle you awake. And notice the barreled ceiling. It says a six inch arch ceiling, arched inside and out, double structurally uh, supported that way to give you uh, an incredibly strong roof that also feels, looks gorgeous, spacious inside, almost, I don't know, cathedral-ish like. Um, quick thing I wanna mention, the, if you like everything in this except the fabric decor, uh, this is just one option. And remember, this may not be the exact unit we have in stock. Check our website or, hey, call us and you know we can verify for you. The other reason this feels huge inside is these six and a half foot tall true walk-in slide outs. Also, windows, windows, windows never hurt. Uh, the dinette here, we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, the wall hugging theater recliners, ultra plush with like double cushioning on here. You do have a central little um, arm station there to hide remote controls, but you might have noticed these handy little remotes here going on. Well, this has some extra power features when you're hooked up uh, to um, uh, residential like shore power, not 12 volt operated, mind you, but basically those can uh, those are heated to keep you real nice and toasty. It's very, very cool. And again, remember how I said devil's in the details? You notice how you've got little wall control switches for your spotlight overhead lights next to each sitting space. It's just little details like that that really take this thing up a notch and over the top. Trifold memory foam high to bed rear sleeper, sleeper sofa. And if you look real close, you'll see that both sides of the sofa have little stands with power outlets. So you can sit back here, have a phone charging. You can uh, have somebody sleeping back here. They, there's room here for a CPAP machine. We grabbed one, we tested it. Some of our own uh, employees need those things. And for privacy's sake, not only do you have the UV tinted windows, you have blackout roller shades and I can use the force to lift these things right here. You see that? That takes practice, ladies and gentlemen. Not really. Um, the, what do we want to talk about next? All kinds of good stuff. Entertainment, let's talk about entertainment. TV swings out for perfect viewing, and that's a double jointed swing arm. The reason I stress that, that means that it can face all the way over here. You can get a perfect bead at your uh, dining area, like you have now. 
You can obviously have it directly across from your beautiful theater seat arrangement. You can even turn it toward the rear sofa so you can sort of sit with your back over there, stretch your legs out, catch, I don't know, whatever movie, show, whatever you're into, you can do that. Um, we've got a gas, uh, or pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, a, a no gas, a no propane electric space heating fireplace down here. You can use it just for visuals, but this is, this is an electric space heater, so you don't have to necessarily burn up a bunch of extra propane to heat your RV. Now, behind this is that outdoor TV, but you don't realize up here there's a bunch of bonus storage. So you've got two separate entertainment sort of options here. Your house system is this one right here, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, and... The IRV system, you can download a free app, the IRV, this looks like the 33 series, IRV 33, turn your phone into a wireless Bluetooth remote control to operate this thing, and that is high def capable, ladies and gentlemen. Down here, we have a Bluetooth sound bar, uh, so that you have a entertainment center, and then a house system. You have a actual dual zone entertainment. We, uh, the 3160 has a gas electric refrigerator, whereas the 3161 has an electric residential refrigerator. The, the benefits either way, gas electric refrigerators are better for towing. These are made for that earthquake level abuse you get going down the road. A residential refrigerator, not so much. We've seen some mixed service results on those. If you're going to have an RV parked, great. The residential fridge, absolutely awesome. Knock it out. If you're going to tow, this is for people that go. Um, it's also big enough for people that sit anyway. Uh, you want uh, cooking facilities, well... Say no more. We have convection microwave with bonus storage overhead. Now down here, you notice that the recess, the stovetop, and this is all the same solid surface you find on the kitchen island right behind us. And these little handy outlets over here to be able to run some appliances, those are just ace. And we even have an extra little drawer down here below this beautiful stainless uh, stovetop. If I spin around, you'll see, uh, again, more of that beautiful solid surface stuff. And check out... The size of this, I mean, you've got a monster prep sink over here, so you can actually get big stuff in there. And then for little times, you still have a little one over here. Um, pull out sprayer faucet is nice for utility sake as well. There's tons of storage below the sink. You see that dedicated wastebasket drawer on the far side of the picture. And then you look down here, you see that little slot? Well, that's for these covers. They can ride down there so that they don't bounce around going down the road. So much attention to detail. And what's cool is the kitchen's not done. It continues over here. And that's something a lot of people don't realize. They stop looking and they go, oh, wait a minute, look at all this. You've got all this pantry space, overhead space. You've got a nice little hutch right here. Perfect little spot to like toss your phone to charge when you first get in the RV. Bonus little drawers. Um, also, your central vac system right here, this is where it hooks up, and you see that little black lever down there? That you can activate, you can just sort of kick it with your foot and to, to turn it on. It's just very simple, cool, and easy. Uh, I'm going to turn off a couple lights to save a little bit of battery power, and then we'll kick them back on when we come back from the living room if we need to. The bathroom door opens what I call the proper way, and it's a different bathroom door than you're used to seeing. A lot of bathroom doors, you're going to look over here and say, oh God, the handle where it's at, the door's going to have to swing at me. I'm going to have to walk backwards, downstairs, and that's not safe and that's not smart. Well, guess what? They thought of that. So the bathroom door just sort of moves out of the way so that you can just make one stop up in here. Um, when you come in the bathroom, you, uh, you'll notice that when you close the door, You've got excellent linen storage space over here. Let me turn some lights on. You've got great linen storage space, dedicated space over here. So you actually have, you know, good storage. Did you notice, by the way, that all the cabinetry in here is all hidden hinge? Uh, it, it's just nicer stuff. We've got a nicer porcelain foot flush stool. We've got a one-piece seamless molded shower with a seat. So you can sit down to shave your legs or maybe you need to sit to bathe. And it is tall guy, balding guy, friendly, and approved. Um, the countertop here, you're going to go, oh, that's really nice. They put a, a sink under uh, another solid surface counter. You have to look real close and you notice this is one piece. This is a one piece molded bucket, totally seamless. Water cannot slip through and penetrate in here. Very sharp. And you do have another one of those, uh, max air control fans. Um, let me, uh, slip out of here real quick. We're going to take a trip over to the master bedroom suite. And it is a sweet master bedroom suite. If you're following me on that one. So walk in, once again, we got lights everywhere. We've got a full 70 by 80 true king bed. And now, um, something I, oh, I didn't talk about the dinette. God bless America. Let me back up. I knew I'd do that when I got up here. So this dinette set, 
Most of the time, you're just going to have couples in here. You can... Uh, I forgot to turn the lights on. I'm just striking out all of a sudden. Most of the time, there's just going to be two of you here. But when you want guests, you see you have an extension leaf. And the entire table can extend a little bit as well. So you can very comfortably get four chairs here. But you only see two chairs. That's why Montana includes a pair of decor matching fold-away chairs. And check this out. You can uh, stand them off in the corner. You can hide them under the master bed. They just fold down and they look exactly like everything else. So you're not sitting people on like a bar stool. It's, it's a real legit chair. It's pretty awesome. Um, also, I like this little power post that pops up out of here. Perfect little phone charging uh, little station. All right, back to the master bed. Bear with me, folks. We're almost done. So I mentioned we've got a true king bed. I was getting ready to talk about the storage below when I remembered I never talked about the dinette. I said I'd go back and talk about details, details, details. Both sides of the bed have stands with power outlets built right into the slide. And I cannot stress how unusually uncommon this is in the RV business. They just don't do that. They don't usually build outlets directly in the slide outs. It's awesome. You've got a full front eight foot wide wall to wall storage closet here. On the other side, you'll notice you have a little more uh, dedicated storage array. Now over here we have a uh, either a huge additional storage space or a stackable possible washer dryer prepped cabinet. Um, the vented slotted door there is kind of half covering a big window, but if you look over here you see another big flat screen. This only... <laughs> only comes with three beautiful high def TVs insignia brand nice stuff guys so the neat thing about this is because they put that big window here for light and cross breeze they had to push the entertainment center over so they have a swing arm mounted the TV so that it's facing directly across from the bed and of course that extra beautiful dresser space and this is a full walk-in height bedroom there's nowhere that a tall guy like me can't stand in this thing if I stand close to this light you're gonna go blind uh, from the reflectivity of my shiny forehead and look at the little detail stuff like the little wall stopper there so you don't ding up your walls everything in this is dressed pressed combed terribly terribly impressive and i'm really psyched really pumped really happy oh look at that you know what that is the perfect nightlight when someone's on your hide bed back there that's smart stuff so give us a call learn more 800-256-5196 haylet rv of Coldwater, michigan take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone